One of the great new uh, features of Windows 8 over Windows 7 is the core system function, and, and that's the ability to create uh, disk images or to actually open disk images without having to actually burn a disk and then run the disk, put it in your uh, disk drive, and then uh, run the program from there. Uh, sometimes when you're out and downloading stuff, you get a you purchase something, you get an EXE that you can just run, but sometimes you get an, what's called an ISO or IMG file. And they look like this. Here's the one from Microsoft. It's a development pack, two different development packages here. And uh, it's, they're both ISO files. They can also be named IMG. Before, you'd have to have a program that took that and burned it out to a DVD, like I said. Uh, but now you don't have to do that. Uh, to take a look at this, let's first look at what's on this PC here. And you'll see here that there's I have my SSD for my Windows 8 installation. I have a gaming disk. I have a, a master disk uh, for master copies of videos and music and all that stuff. And I have my backup drive. Then I have a physical DVD drive here. Well, let's go ahead and put this uh, over on this side. And we'll put this on this side. And we're going to simply, to create a new virtual DVD, we're going to right-click on this and just simply say Mount. And you notice that, boom, all of a sudden, this drive appeared over here. It's this is Disk Drive J, Microsoft Expression Studio 4. If we double-click on it, it opens up, and it's the actual pro It's like you're reading off of a DVD. And you can sit there and simply click on the setup, run it, install it, uh, we'll go through all the install procedures and you know, everything like that. Uh, works really great. And then when you're done with it, after you've done your install and everything, instead of ejecting the DVD physically, you simply right-click over here, and you come down here and you say eject down there, and now it's no longer mounted as your uh, virtual disk drive. A gr way simpler in Windows 8, really quick, easy feature to use. Uh, don't use it that much uh but when you need it, it's a lot easier than having to have a separate program to do that function for you. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.